My name is Eng Lim. I'm the Chief Technology Officer for SGI. I'm Mark Berenche, CEO at SGI, and welcome to SC11. Uh, Mark, tell us a little bit about the company. Thanks, Dr. Go. Yeah. You know, it's been an amazing two years, right? The, uh, the company's growing, we're profitable, and uh, this year we're looking to put about 70 million um, in R&D. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, you're welcome. <laughs> Just don't spend it all in one place. Okay. <laughs> and you know we're basically you know investing in multiple architectures, right? We have our shared memory line uh, called UV. Uh, we have our next generation uh, high-end scale out in Finiband, Ice X. Uh, we have our data uh, intensive compute scale out Ethernet. Mm -hmm. um, 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 Hadoop is a great workload yes. for that. Maybe you can tell us a little more about Ice X and UV, mm -hmm. um, uh, about what the Romley cycle is going to do for mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. um, there are a few things uh, that differentiates I Ice X from the 8400. Sure. Uh, first and foremost uh, is we are going back to the 19-inch form factor, mm -hmm. so reducing the rack size down to the 19-inch, and yet be able to increase the slot count in that reduced rack from 64 to 72 slots. Mm -hmm. That's not it. With, within the 72 slots, each of those slots, we have the ability to yet double the density by folding in two blades. Yeah, that's a, a pretty unique design. They're sort of interlaced. Yes. And I, you call that the Medina Twin? Yes. That's the code name, uh, internal code name yep. for that sandwich. Yeah. And the way, the way we could uh, do that uh, uh, Medina Twin uh, and still maintain that same slot space is with the standing dims, we found a way to offset the dims so that when they come in, they come in in a, a, yep. a line way like this. So, so what would fit into like two independent blade nodes, we've collapsed into one mm -hmm. by sort of offsetting things yes. uh, into this Medina twin design. And then fitting all into one slot. So we have the increased density, mm -hmm. we have um, all the benefits of Sandy Bridge and Ivy Bridge. Yes. Um, we're using uh, PCIe Gen 3, we're exploiting FDR, and we also have built our own in cabinet switching, right, for optimized topologies. Absolutely. You must be pretty excited about that. Yes, uh, the optimized switching is uh, an important part. You see, if uh, you go with the uh, traditional fat tree uh, topology, you will have to end up having external switches yeah. beyond the racks that we build. And the problem with that is as you scale to large scale, these external switches become untenable. They get too big, too expensive. Uh, we have come up uh, with a hypercube topology where all the switches are embedded inside our racks. You look at the work we're doing on ISAX for scale out InfiniBand, our shared memory work with um, uh, UV, mm -hmm. our scale out InfiniBand uh, with the rackable uh, product line. Mm -hmm. you know, we're, we're targeting roughly six, six industry segments mm. um, and uh, life sciences, earth sciences financial services, uh, manufacturing, uh, defense and intelligence, uh, and um, a few other areas as well. And you know, algorithms shape our world. And algorithms sort of gravitate naturally, as you well know, to particular architectures. So you know, we're looking at being able to scale in financial services, Monte Carlo simulations, uh, Sarbanes-Oxley analysis, Brownian uh, algorithms, and oil and gas, looking at reverse time migration mm -hmm. um, for um, exploration and, and seismic. And in life sciences, we're looking at biomedical mm -hmm. codes. Um, Many new customers there. Oh yeah, it's yes. been a, it's been a, a great new a new sector for us, mm -hmm. as well as um, uh, in weather, atmospheric, oceanic, uh, volcanology. If you have a tough algorithm, mm -hmm. we have an architecture to match it. So you know we're looking at you know roughly about six industries. You know we we kind of follow the thirteen motif set out um, of all, of all these uh, different uh, technical domains. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, uh, we're following on from UV1, where we already have uh, 350 uh, systems sold on the UV1100 side, uh, more if you count UV10. And then the next question is how do we bring that one step up uh, to the uh, UV2 yeah. platform? I think we have the opportunity with UV2 is to establish shared memory as a mainstream platform, not just a scientific platform, 
not just an experimental platform, but a mainstream yes. computing platform. Right, this will be a super cluster. Um, mm -hmm. it, it will have 4,096 cores, oh, yes. 60 terabyte, 64 terabytes of yes. memory, uh, all running a single copy of an operating system. Slice the machine into as many copies as you want, one copy or n copy. Use your favorite out-of-the-box virtualization technique. Second, the ingest rates are only going to get faster. Yes. Uh, the, pri uh, the economics are only going to decrease because we're sorting, uh, um, supporting a full line of um, Sandy Bridge processors. And our ecosystem of packaged software is only going to get wider with support from Microsoft, um, uh, Microsoft's BI toolkit, Microsoft database, Oracle database, uh, and other tools. So, you know, I think we have the opportunity to make shared memory a mainstream platform mm. with uh, much more pervasive with yeah. UV2. Yes. Thank you, Dr. Go. Appreciate Thank your you. time. Thank you, Mark. Yeah. Yes.